Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. In this video, I will not proceed with the standard electrode potential series. First, I will explain to you the non-redox reaction. If you think that all reaction is a redox reaction, you are actually wrong because some reaction is not a redox reaction. So how do we determine whether a reaction is a redox reaction? or non-redox reaction, so we have to look at the change in oxidation number throughout the reaction. Okay, so let's look at the example. Now let's look at the first reaction where I write down, I'll write down the chemical equation for that reaction. So this reaction is between the hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Okay, so this is actually a very typical reaction between acid and alkali. Okay, or, or the reaction you can call as neutralization reaction. So in this reaction, okay, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid will react to form sodium chloride, which is salt and water so you have two products there so this is salt and you have water molecule so let's look at the oxidation number for each reactant and also the product so the oxidation number for hydrogen here is plus one so hydrogen always plus one Okay, chloride here, it is an aqueous. So, bila dia aqueous, dia adalah chloride ion. So, the oxidation number is minus 1. Okay, sodium hydroxide also aqueous means, okay, you have sodium as positive 1. And then you have oxygen. Oxygen here is minus 2. And hydrogen again plus one. So the total oxidation number for the acid and alkali is actually zero. Okay, let's look at the oxidation number for the product. The oxidation number for sodium in salt, this is aqueous because it is the soluble salt. Sodium chloride soluble in water. So you have sodium ion there. So the sodium ion have positive 1 as the oxidation number. Chloride ion still exists as aqueous, so negative 1. Okay, water molecule. Water is actually a molecule. Okay, but the oxidation number for the element will still be the same. So, as you can see here, you have two hydrogen, but the oxidation number for hydrogen here is still plus 1, but you have 2 plus one okay uh, but you don't have to write down the two there okay because we are not calculating the total oxidation number we just want to know the oxidation number for that element okay and then you have the oxygen so oxygen still negative two okay so in this reaction as you can see okay all the oxidation number of the reactant and the product is still the same so let's look at the hydrogen Hydrogen still exists as plus 1. Okay, so this is still plus 1. And then if you look at the chloride ion, chloride ion still exists as negative 1. Okay, sodium ion still exists as plus 1. So there is no change in oxidation number. Okay, if there is no change in oxidation number, means that this reaction is not a redox reaction. So, this is the conclusion for the first example. So, as you can see, if there is no change in oxidation number for the reactant and the product, so the reaction is 
not a redox reaction. Okay, now let's look at the second example. This is a reaction between silver nitrate solution and sodium chloride. Okay, so this reaction will produce silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Can you recognize this reaction? Okay, this is actually a double decomposition reaction or you can also call it as a precipitation reaction. So this is actually a soluble salt that react with soluble salt to produce insoluble salt and a soluble salt. So salt to say tulis soluble salt lah eh. Okay, so soluble salt react with a soluble salt to produce insoluble salt which is silver chloride so silver chloride here will precipitate out through the reaction okay so in this reaction you can uh, write down the oxidation number for each element in the reactant and product so silver here is equal so the oxidation number is still plus one nitrogen here can you calculate the oxidation number for nitrogen here Okay, so nitrogen in nitrate. So if I want to calculate the nitrogen in nitrate, so this is actually an O3 minus. Okay, so nitrogen is X. Let's see, we take the nitrogen as X. So X plus 3 times negative 2 equals to negative 1. So the negative 1 is actually coming from the negative sign here the nitrate ion so if you look at x x will be negative one okay plus with six so x is actually plus five so the oxidation number for nitrate is five so let me put that down first so this is plus five so oxygen minus two kenapa saya tak tulis oxygen minus 2 times 3 because I am looking at the oxidation number for the element not the total oxidation number for the reactant. So saya tak perlulah nak tulis 2 da negative 2 darab dengan 3 tu sebab saya just nak tengok dia punya oxidation number of the element. Okay so this is plus 1 plus 5 minus 2 for sodium okay you have positive one, sodium and A plus and then you have chloride, chloride negative one. So this is the oxidation number for your reactant. So if you look at the oxidation number for your product, okay, product walaupun dia insoluble, it still exists as uh, positive ion. So the oxidation number is still positive one, chloride still negative one, sodium still positive one, nitrate Okay, the nitrogen still positive 5 and oxygen still negative 2. So, if you look at the change in oxidation number there, so there is no change in oxidation number. Okay, the silver is still positive 1, nitrogen still positive 1. Okay, and then the oxygen still negative 2. Okay, sodium still positive 1, chloride still exists as negative 1. So, there is no change in oxidation number. So, when there is no change in oxidation number, so this reaction is not a redox reaction. So, in this video, I tell you two reactions that is not a redox reaction. The first one, okay, not a redox reaction. The first one is neutralization reaction. And the second one is double decomposition reaction. Okay, double decomposition reaction means you want to precipitate out a product. Okay, so you have to add two soluble salt and uh, produce one soluble salt and one insoluble salt. 
So if you have problem in recognizing neutralization reaction and double decomposition reaction, you can just look back at acid and base and also subchapter. Okay? Okay, I think that's all uh, in this video. This is uh, such a quick uh, sub discussion throughout this 1.1 redox equilibrium. So in the next video, I will talk about the standard electrode potential series. We will look at the standard uh, hydrogen electrode first and then uh, we will discuss on the series. Okay, so... Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video if you find that uh, I'm helping you in understanding the subject. Okay, thank you.